this is the age case here is a few of the old games I've done in the past but please check out the four previous videos that is to do with the same thing government controlled opposition revealed government censorship network revealed government grassroots movements government infiltration networks in this I will be talking about the top Trump players in opposition to the government these are the top people who seem to always be or just risen to the top of one of the movements in opposition to the government or they've just come from an old movement they appear cause controversy and then disappear leaving a vacuum of people looking for answers and a way to oppose the corruption or whatever movement it is if you really do your research and digging these same people pop up every now and then and you will find some of them are funded in some indirect way from the government gthq mi5 met police a religious group or some movement of some kind and usually not a grassroots movement that has risen out of a community i didn't add politicians royalty or celebrities to it it's just the people in the underground and it seems like they have already created their own virtue signaling version for the people to sit at home and play first up we have tommy robinson very controversial figure on the right wing whenever people are starting to get on you always call out Tommy Robinson to come and stir and cause division within the communities. You also have Mark Collette, he was part of the Young BMP, he's next up in line. And we have people like Hatton who was trying to convert people from Islam to Christianity. Katie Hopkins, very loathed person in the UK, also on the right. And we have Nigel Farage, he is the man for Brexit and for taken us into a new realm under reform as he says with his new party you can trust him around your daughter to not get pregnant because he always pulls out in the end that kind of makes up the right-wing media and alternative media we then have Piers Morgan one of the most loved and hated people in the UK like Marmite he is the media's mouthpiece we also have Anna Breeze she used to be she used to work for the BBC now she seems to be doing work for the people we also so have Brian Rosie ended up ripping a lot of people off at the start of the pandemic up to a million pounds so he could create his own platform so then he could get people in like David Icke to come and lie on his show about stuff he doesn't even know what he's talking about David Icke's okay but for years he has been giving us half lies and half truths and never really giving us any remedies and making lots of money out of it every year as he can attract a large crowd but knowingly or unknowingly he is helping to keep the truth movement stuck in a cycle of no action and conspiracy theories and whenever someone steps out to do some research you will be coined a David Icke as someone who is looking into lizards and the stuff like that which he has been tarred with so he is a good tool for the government that they have used over the years and if you point this out people will get offended and try to ostracize you as someone trying to cause division this you could say makes up the media we have Kate Shimarani who single-handedly destroyed our chances of opposing the government in the pandemic as she got most of the attention on stage and a lot of people were following her stuff as well as Mark Steele, the weapons expert who has been lying about 5G for a few years now and has been proven to be paid by the EU a number of people. We have Piers X, Marxist who is always here to disrupt and stir. We have allegedly known as Davey always popping up and appearing whenever there's a new movement coming. He was a major force in the flat earth movement. These make up the conspiracy people that the government can use. We have new people such as Louise from Save Our Rights. She's been arrested a few times now in some of the protests and is getting her name known. We have a new player on the scene, Igsals. He has rose up in the Stand Up X and has had a lot of attention over this year and as well as Debbie Hicks she seems to always be getting herself arrested even though she's a mum and has been sacked from labour in the past they make up the new guard and this makes up the old guard we have a heavyweight as Gail Bradbrook she's done more for the opposition for the government in the last few years than anyone in terms of helping the government is what I'm on about. Same with Simon Dolan. 
He claims to be fighting for the people, but then he's getting contracts from the government for his aeroplane to bring PPE in to the country. We have a new player, David Curtin, who will be running for the London Mayor soon, and some old players such as Brian Harvey, who are part of this. These people make up what I would call the opposition to the government, controlled opposition, because on the left you have people like Extinction Rebellion, Black Lives Matter, Labour, and on the right you have the Conservatives, the MP, Tommy Robinson, and in the middle you have the, the film crew, such as Subject Access, Resistance GB, Danny Shine, Tyrone Finder, Russia Today, Spotnik, and many others creating the narrative so that they can make the protests look bad towards the mainstream media and social media and people looking into it. This is how they do it. It's old tactics. It's been used for many years in many protests, but only this time the government and the cabinet office especially has been involved in doing it on a countrywide scale during the pandemic to censor information and people getting through and creating grassroots movements. This is what they call the controlled opposition. Now, chances are not every single person that we think is a shill is a shill. Um, you always have to take people's information with a pinch of salt and go and do your own research. That's the most important thing than to just take someone on as a hero because what they're saying sounds good to you and resonates in your heart. You know, you have to do some real thorough research before, well, I do before I can lay myself on the line and into a cause as big as the causes that have been coming out in the last few years. So big yourselves up and thank you for joining.